Hey Blender enthusiasts, welcome back to Pro Lemon Games. Today, we've got a fantastic tutorial on mirroring in Blender. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned artist, these tips and tricks will make mirroring a breeze. If you're ready to double your efficiency, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's dive into Blender. Hey, it's Pro Lemon Games here. In today's tutorial, we're going to explore the wonderful world of mirroring in Blender. Mirroring is a powerful tool for speeding up your workflow and ensuring symmetry in your models. So, without further ado, let's jump into Blender and uncover some mirroring magic. Mirroring is easy with Blender. Select your object, enter edit mode, and enable mesh symmetry in the top right corner of the screen. You can choose which axis will be symmetrical by simply pressing which axis in X, Y, Z. Blender allows you to mirror across different axes. Experiment with the X, Y, and Z axes to achieve the desired symmetry for your model. Remember, each axis provides a unique mirroring effect, so don't hesitate to try them all. Next let's talk about the mirror modifier, a game changer for mirroring. Add the mirror modifier to your object, and it instantly mirrors across the selected axis. Adjust the offset, enable clipping for seamless merging, and you're good to go. The modifier is non-destructive, allowing you to tweak your model at any time. Here's a neat trick, use an empty object as a mirror center. Place an empty at the desired mirroring point, select your object, and in the mirror modifier, choose the empty as the mirror object. This technique provides additional flexibility and control over the mirroring process. Let's put our knowledge into practice with a real-life example. I'll demonstrate how to use mirroring to create a symmetrical low-poly gun, emphasizing the efficiency and precision that mirroring brings to your projects. And there you have it, mirroring in Blender made easy. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow Blender artists, and let me know in the comments what other Blender topics you'd like to explore. Until next time, happy mirroring.